One of the first stops on the Pope's historic Philippines tour was a visit to Tacloban, the region devastated just over a year ago by Typhoon Haiyan. But his stay there was cut short when a tropical storm started to move in. The Pope was criticized just moments before his Philippines arrival when he suggested the Charlie Hebdo terror attack occurred because Muslims were insulted by the magazine's critical cartoons. The Pope said freedom of expression is a fundamental right, but people should not abuse it by provoking or insulting the faith of others. And once he arrived in Manila, he strongly defended traditional marriage, saying that powerful forces threatened to disfigure God's plan for creation. He called same-sex marriage a threat to the family and society itself. Also a threat to the family unit, abortion. Protect your families. Protect your families. Be sanctities of respect for life, proclaiming the sickness of the every human life from conception to natural death. While the Pope's earlier comments were deemed somewhat political and maybe even a bit controversial, in his final day of meetings here in Manila, he told thousands of young people that they need to live their faith, demonstrate it through mercy, compassion, and humility. And if Filipinos are to be good Christians, they need to have an encounter with Christ, learn to weep, and reach out to help those in need. The chairman of the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches suggests the Pope's message also applies to non-Catholics. And we evangelicals can benefit from that because it has been a long time that our faith has been private and very personal. And we need to refocus our faith into engagement. Perhaps one of the most memorable moments came at the Pontiff's final meeting as a record six million people gathered in the rain at Rizal Park. That's where a rescued homeless girl asked the Pope why God allows children to suffer. He told her there are some realities that you can only see through eyes that have been cleansed by tears. He urged people to see children as a gift to be welcomed. And we need to care for our young people, not allowing them to be robbed of hope and condemned to the life on the streets. Pope Francis will make history again with his first visit to the United States. It's scheduled for next September in an appropriately named city for this compassionate Pope, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Gary Lane, CBN News, Manila, Philippines.